Never Stop Learning, week 255. We're going to take a quick look at Convert to Shape Ellipse in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015. All right, so now that we're at the last shape for Convert to Shape, I wanted to show you guys a workflow uh, for mocking up a name badge. All right, so this is something that I've used in the past, and you can make your own edits in here to kind of fine tune it. So if I select my artwork, you'll also notice that this is actually live text. So the cool thing about this template is when you double click on this, you can change the name. So I'm gonna go with my own name right in here, command and return to accept that change. And now you see that the entire badge uh, updates with me. All right, so I'm gonna switch over to a different artboard. Here I already have my text laid out. Now the reason I'm going with this is just so you can use this as a template for various different projects. All right, so with my artwork selected, I'm gonna go into the appearance panel. Down at the bottom, I have the option to add a new fill. When I click on that, I have a new fill and a stroke. The stroke does not have any attributes applied. I'm gonna grab my characters, click and drag, bring them to the top of the stack and release. All right, so over here for this fill, I'd like to change this to a gradient fill. Now currently I can't see that gradient fill, but while I have the fill targeted, down at the bottom of the appearance panel, I'm gonna click on add new effect. The effect I'm gonna go with is convert to shape, and the shape is gonna be ellipse. All right, clicking on that is gonna give us the shape options. And over here for shape, you could switch to a different shape, but I'm gonna stick with ellipse. Then we have our options. The first option you're gonna see is for size. You can switch over to absolute if there's a specific size you want for your ellipse. I'm gonna go with relative so that my ellipse updates every time I change that name. All right, the default settings seem to work out good for me, so I'm gonna click OK. The next thing I wanna do is make a change to my gradient. So I wanna make sure my gradient is targeted, and then I'm gonna hit the period key on my keyboard. That's gonna bring up the gradient panel. Over here, I just wanna change the angle to 90 degrees. You can change it to whatever you want, but 90 degrees seems to work out great for me. All right, now let's do the same thing with the stroke. Over here in the appearance panel, I'm gonna switch the stroke over to a gradient. And because we have the gradient panel up, we can make a quick change. All right, on the previous one, we went with 90 degrees. This time, I wanna go with negative 90, and you'll see why in a sec. All right, so, I want to apply this ellipse effect to my stroke with the same attributes. So I'm going to go into the effect menu and I'm going to find apply ellipse. There's also a keyboard shortcut of command shift E. Clicking on that once is going to apply the same settings that we applied to the fill and we have them over here on our stroke. All right, great. So for the stroke size, all I'm going to do is hover over the stroke weight and then just increase the weight until I get a look that I'm going for. All right, this looks pretty good. Now for the gradients, I just want you guys to notice that the fill has a dark color at the top and a light color at the bottom. The stroke has a dark color at the bottom and a light color at the top, and that's how I'm getting this effect here. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of my gradient panel, just move this guy over a little bit. Now, the only thing that bothers me is the color of the text. So I'm gonna select my artwork. Over here in the appearance panel, you're gonna find characters at the top. Double click on that, and now you have access to the fill color. All right, so I'm gonna switch over to white. Now, to get back to that upper level, just double click on type, and there you go. So now you're gonna see your stroke, fill, and all those live effects. All right, so this looks pretty good, but now to get that embroidered look. I'm gonna target my characters. At the bottom, I'm gonna add new effect. All right, the effect I'm gonna go with is stylize and scribble. Clicking on scribble is gonna add the default settings for scribble. If you click on this drop down menu, you have different presets to choose from. The one I'm gonna go with is tight, and the default settings look great. Again, you can make some additional changes in here, but I'm gonna click OK. All right, now I have my template set up. You could save this off as a new document to use as a template, or you could save this as a graphic style so you could apply this to different types of artwork. 
All right, for me, I wanna make a quick change to this text. I'm gonna go with my own name right in here. And when I accept that change, I notice that um, I don't like how it's stretched out horizontally. So I wanna show you guys how to make some changes to your ellipse live effect. All right, so I'm gonna select my artwork, back over here in the appearance panel. I'm gonna target my fill because that one's easier to see. All right, clicking on ellipse is gonna bring up the shape options. And all I wanna do is back off on the width. All right, so I'm gonna decrease the size of the width and I'm gonna go with zero points. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna click OK. Now, I already know it's gonna be zero points, so back over here for stroke. I'm gonna click on ellipse, switch the width over to zero, and when I tab over, everything fits nice and tight. I'll click OK to accept that change, and when I deselect, you see this awesome look right here. All right, so there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at Convert to Shape Ellipse in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015.